We, we are here for the hang. Hello. Here for the hang, Jake. Here for the hang. I'm trying to listen in to this weather report. Oh, sorry. You know what? You do you. But now we're waiting on the weather as we've been expecting all afternoon. Thanks, John. We've got an extensive history now of flying Falcon 9 from the Florida coast and just last year completed a test run of the mission. Still still up in the air. Still up in the air. Yeah. Um, the purpose of that mission was to demonstrate Dragon's capability to safely and reliably fly to and from the International Space Station. Anyone on the Twitch success yet? of Demo 1 was a really exciting moment and it paved the way for today's mission where we are just They are. Look at that. Away. Hopefully if we get that Hi. weather uh, how's the stream audio? I'll pull up the video in a second, but do you need it quieter? Do you need it louder? You tell me. Years of operational experience or what we refer to as flight heritage. As I mentioned earlier, SpaceX has successfully completed 21 flights of Dragon to and from orbit since 2010, including 20 trips to the International Start Space Start talking State. again. Thanks, George. Hello. I think that's Hello. George. George is mad at us for talking. I just want to know how you're feeling about the stream audio. <laughs> People think it's good. Let me know. Give me some feedback. I'll try to keep an eye on it if you need it louder. We'll obviously shut up when we're talking over stuff. So, but for now, we're kind of just monitoring things. So let me pull up the video again. We might be not we super. Just, oh. uh, making a comment about that. I heard some clicking and, uh, and Bob oh, watched it on the uh, astronauts talking to so ground control. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You gotta love that. the crew talking to the core here in. So what's going on out there, Twitch? What's going on out there? How are you guys feeling? You feel good about the launch? How's the... The weather's a little dicey still, but uh, I'm curious to know what you guys are feeling. What's the gut? What's the gut reaction in, in, the, in the chat there? Back to what we were talking through as we're describing these systems. And where are all our trolls? Do we have trolls yet? I'm really excited for when we get trolls in our chat. That's like a milestone, no, right? We have incredibly nice people that like what we do, and we love them for that. <laughs> I'm going to discourage <laughs> trolls. <laughs> Here, I'll bump the audio. It sounds like people want audio a little bit more. So. Many of the other enhancements help towards SpaceX's goal of reusability too loud? Time between missions. How about that? That so seems a little better. A Boosted that a little for you. Feels better. Uh, That's perfect, they said. All right, real quick, before we get sucked up into launch stuff, I want to do a quick um, drink check. Which is designed Jake? to hold the crew and yeah. how what kind of liquids do you have to carry you through? Because we're here live until we're not, which is gonna be several hours from now probably. Well, I have the uh, off nominal studios West beer fridge ready oh, right. to go. You have the fridge right next to you. See, I had to yes. bring all my stuff up two stories. Oh no, no, no. It is stocked with water, diet Dr. Pepper, and that helps Coke Zero. And a single a single diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> And uh, a few, a few brews, a few special brews for the occasion. So, uh, would you like to see yeah. what I have brought with me? I do want to know. Yeah. What's going on here? Six and work. Nothing. So the crew just has a couple checks and when they're explaining dragons. Doug's still wearing his glasses. I'm curious about the glasses. I'm on glasses <laughs> watch officially. <laughs> I'm officially on glasses watch. Will he? Won't he wear them during launch? <laughs> Have we seen the zero G is indicator? Is there a glasses yet? holder? That's what we want. I think the zero G indicator is Doug's glasses. <laughs> he lifts the visor and they float off. Uh, all right, so I just would you like to see what I've brought? Hit me. Let's see it. Twenty ounces of iced coffee and a Yeti. That's what I'm okay. drinking currently. Nice. Okay. Forty ounces of water. Are you going to be able to do all this without going to the bathroom four times? Another 40 ounces of water. A <laughs> full unopened bottle of wine for afterwards. <laughs> this is the difference between you and I in terms of taking care of our own bodies is our ratio of alcohol to water is reversed. <laughs> I'm like, I got a few ounces of water. That'll carry me through. <laughs> My zero G indicator is all of these bottles that when they are empty. Yeah, I'm wearing a mag. That's so good. All right, Bob and Doug, go for launch. What does that mean? Means the Astros feel good. Oh, okay. That's not an official. Like, no. So T45 is the the pole. And that is going to be, that's like 13 minutes from now. 
Draco launch escape system. That's when we're going to know, really, right? I mean, at this point, if they're not worried about abort weather, which I don't... I haven't seen... Uh, granted, we've been doing all this stuff, so I haven't been watching every tweet roll by, but I haven't seen a lot of talk about abort being the worry. Yeah. It sounds like it's just right here on the launch pad, right? Right. So, I mean, that means we ain't going to find out until those things... Until they're ro rolling, you know? Yeah. But that last weather map I saw, I had like a like a window. It was like a pocket. Yeah. It was like, this is the hole you have to shoot a rocket through. Let's hope it flies over the pad at the right yeah, time. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I've, been, I've been in those situations. <laughs> I, I vaguely remember... Uh, what launch was it? There was a launch, one of the most recent launches I went to was like that, the same deal where it was like, boy, I hope that's the hole that we hit. <laughs> there, everyone's looking away from the rocket right now to see if they could see the hole in the clouds. Be like, where's that going to get here in calling their friends at Disney, like, how is yeah, yeah. it? Nobody's at What's Disney, like? right? No, They're not open. I think Universal's opening up pretty soon. They though. are June. I got all these emails. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they they, said they, the, they um, wrap you up in cellophane and then they let you go through, right? <laughs> no. Here's what it, they said that 100.4 degrees is the temperature check that they're doing, and I was like, what is the temperature of a sweaty tourist who is like, already hot from Florida? And it was 100.4. Sorry, you're not here. Oh, I've I've been to Disney World in May, so I uh, I feel it. It's hot there, man. It's the not. To go, baby. It is not. No, ugh, ugh. Never again. I'll go in January. Ooh. Dramatic music coming from the stream. We're listening in. Oh, it sounds like they. Stage two, RP one bleed is complete. I feel way better about this than I did this morning. Yeah. I woke up and I started putting some microphones away. Like I had the little lav out that we used on Tim's stream, and I was I put it away. <laughs> and then about ten minutes before we were going live on Tim's stream, I was like, oh crap, I put that away this morning. <laughs> Gotta get that out. So technical pull is good. It's just weather now. Uh, what was all that video they were showing? There's no audio on this video. Right? There's no... Say again? I'm, I'm watching the SpaceX channel and there's no audio on the... No, nothing coming through right now. I have both open, and I don't know where I'm hearing it from anymore, so I just, you know. <laughs> Yo, Neutron Waffles up in the Discord. Hey, welcome back. Good to see her around. Yeah. He is the Joint Operations Commander for Demo 2, and Bankin previously flew the Space Shuttle missions. How are you feeling with all your screens in front of you, Anthony? You've got quite a battle station up there. I'm feeling like I have plenty of vitamin D. Yeah. Here's a little bit more about the man who said testing out a Oh, your Skype is laggy. Why is your Skype laggy? Oh, no. It's doing that thing where it's like... Out of sync? Yeah. I can't even blame that one on you Twitch. go through the, the launch day preparations, there's a lot of moments that, that kind of stand out to you. One Astronauts look the, super the peaceful right now. Piece of it, which is They're just chilling, baby. The suit up room and, uh, getting in the vehicle that's gonna it's a great angle of repose. When you close the hatch. Yeah, it's probably really like super down. comfy, right? Pretty comfy yeah. angle, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, we're really in control of the mission. Air-conditioned suits. <laughs> They're all snug as a bug. Can we talk about the window on Dragon? Sure. Um, yeah, let's do not it. the not the actual windows, the places where the windows should be but are currently not. Because they're still in the mold line. They're still you can see it in the interior. I don't know if you're watching the real stream, Jake. Um, but you can see it. You know, just past them. That thing's past. That's the black. The black one. Yeah. Yeah. So trying to dissect all of that in real time in your head is, uh, you know, a lot of things happen like that on, a, on launching of a vehicle. From St. Anne, Missouri, he is an Air Force Colonel and flight test engineer. He flew aboard Space Shuttle Endeavor <laughs> twice, introducing... Man, it's crazy there's astronauts in a spaceship right now. It's, I, I'm like struggling to comprehend that this is actually happening. 
I'm having that like guilty feeling that I'm not excited enough, and like I'm gonna miss it, and then be like, I should have got more jazzed up. Yeah, like you're not taking. What was I thinking? Not taking full advantage of the excitement. Yeah, yeah. I'm really sad though, Anthony, that we can't do what we did for Falcon Heavy and walk right up to the edge of the water there, and then when when it lifts off, you like reach over and touch my arm like a I would hope that like a protective mother. <laughs> We'll have to do it virtually now. The COVID touch. <laughs> yeah, we would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are some times, man. It's been uh, yeah. uh, really interesting, like, I think, for both my wife and I to have gone through the process of seeing each other. So uh, how many of you in Twitch and uh, Discord were watching the uh, Everyday Astronaut stream? How'd we do? Was it was it good content? Something different content trademark? Launch when there are people on board, you feel a little bit differently about the Content stomach, trademark. And I can only tell you it's multiplied uh, significantly. Capital C, when, content. Uh, Somebody that Seems you like know, people enjoyed it. And then somebody, of course, that's a fan. None of you member, were it's in the chat. More. <laughs> For me personally, as a spouse, watching um, everything that Bob has no, it's, done it's really, over the it's last awesome, five years. Tim. Um, the dedication had us come in on that. It's really, really great of him. He's uh, really special fun. for both that of dude's us. working the, hard today. The way oh my God. He is all over the place. It won't be until working hard. Sort of the so mission is complete. Uh, that you have really a chance to save it. They do good content over there. This is a huge accomplishment for, uh, um, funny for story about behind the scenes be on that while we're just doing fluff content here. Uh, it's going to there was an email amazing. thread with all the people that Everyday Astronaut Without was going to be having on <laughs> <laughs> throughout the day. Many, like the one who followed us up, Emmy Award winning Emily Calendrelli. Uh, many with much more esteem than, than your dear friends here who drink beer and talk about space. Um, and we have this joke that we've brought up on the show before where we at off nominal dot space is a catch all email. So you can email literally anything and it will get to us. But I guess that's the email that Jake gave the everyday astronaut team. So there's all these like very impressive people with serious email addresses. And then it says literally anything at off nominal dot space. Full, like, cause that's not anyone's name, uh, full in the email thread. And it was, God, that's, that is incredible. It was really good. Yeah. Yeah. I told, I gave him a few other options too. Um, so I'm actually kind of glad he went with literally <laughs> the anything. Most at tame us. One. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most tame one. <laughs> um, so it was good to go. But yeah, I, I let the listeners take advantage of that too. I, I love it when we get like emoji ones at, at off nominal space. It's just like a bunch of emoji stories in a string. It's good. It's a lot of fun. We when when do we get a producer, Anthony? That's a uh, that's handy. Oof. It's a great yeah, time that's um, a, a time <laughs> that's a lot of overhead for us. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot. Of overhead. <laughs> I know our video would be a lot better. I know, uh, like frame rate on. It's a whole thing. I've been the way I have to capture this video to stream it on Twitch is a whole thing. Personal. Um, so I'm really number one would be upgrade to, this video hardware and get uh, one of the real space, things that an that Andrew was probably using. A, an thing for him he's seen me do it in old <laughs> Everyone's getting very uh, mad about what do weather video, trending so down means. Is that good or bad? Uh, this launch. <laughs> <laughs> so I accurate. The entire yeah. <laughs> commercial crew program team that's worked together to get to this point where we've got vehicles in the launch pad ready to head to the International Space Station. I love, I love uh, Casey Dreyer. 49 and a half minutes away from launch of the Falcon 9 carrying Dragon to the space station. Right now, the launch director and the launch team are preparing for a readiness for launch poll. In this poll, the 13 members of the launch team will electronically indicate a go for launch. This is also the go for propellant load. Now, we're going to hear that in a couple of minutes. So while we wait, we are tracking you watching from all over the country. So they're going to go and or tuning in from coast <laughs> load coast, propellant, it looks like. Well around the world. We want to know, is this your first time? Here we go. Here's Innsbrucker. If not, how many have you seen before? Tell us using the hashtag. I think that when Innsbrucker is done with space, um, he would be a great like in-stadium announcer for the Dodgers. <laughs> I could I could imagine that dude announcing like now, baseball up, players coming up the bat. Go into a readiness poll, as I mentioned. Currently, right now, on other nets, the SpaceX launch director. Yeah, so we're coming up on the, on the on final count. The mission thing. The I'm on the NASA, NASA feed now. The launch management team is ready. 
They'll come back uh, at about T minus 47 minutes with instructions to the SpaceX Falcon 9 team. How's the stream doing it? They're at 916,000 people in the NASA stream right now. It's a little different than the old days where you would hear a go, go, go. 916,000. And then how many are in the SpaceX? Does everyone have the SpaceX stream open? If you're in the chat and you have the SpaceX one open. Yeah, I think I'm watching that one, but I, I have the embedded version so that it's just the video and none of the Chrome. Give us a, a, a watch count on the SpaceX stream. <laughs> Kurt in Twitch said he could pronounce paint drying and I'd watch it. 100% accurate. And we'll show you that on one of the, uh, screens so they're that saying 680,000 over there. I wonder how many duplicates there are, but either way, like... Doesn't matter. A million and a half. <laughs> now, currently, we are continuing to monitor the weather. The weather Good for is them. still red. It this is a big day. We're it's a huge day. Like I keep, the radar and the I keep going. Oh, it's launch day, and then I go. Oh, uh, it's like launch launch day. <laughs> it's totally different. But we're going to be watching that for about another. I I, I got kind of emotional watching so the the walk like out and the drive and oh, stuff. That was pretty. You kidding me? Come on, oh, man. That's Coming out of that room and then going out there with uh, that with uh, Karen and Megan and the kids and. Just 47 Socially see, distant uh, hugging. Bob had his uh, Bob had his window down though. When they were driving. No, he had his window down when they were going up to see him. I don't think he did. Mm, you should watch mm. that again. His window was wide. Open. I thought I thought so too, but then they did like a hand on hand thing. Yeah, on Doug's side. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Around the other side, I think I saw the other the other side, right? Yeah, on the Wasn't building Bob? side. Bob was on the yeah. building side, I think. Hmm. Uh, somebody said in the Twitch chat that there's 18,000 on Mission Audio Stream, which is amazing. I have that up. Yeah, yeah, there is. So that, just to give you an idea of the way that Jake and I approach audience, that's the 18,000 that we're going for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't Tim's need doing great and a half. at the 600,000 streamers. We're doing great at the 18,000. Just launch track on the countdown net. Hole is complete, and we have. Oh, one was transparent. One, they're saying that it was a transparent window. <laughs> like as most windows are. <laughs> yeah, but then why was the one blacked out? Moving for our movement for T minus 45 minutes. This new Tesla technology. Hear me out. This is groundbreaking. <laughs> Windows that you can see through. <laughs> this is why Elon is changing the world. And Jake was like, what are we going to add to the stream day? Hit this. This is it. Comedic relief. Transparent windows. A groundbreaking analysis by Anthony Colangelo. Live to you via Twitch. Don't miss it. Like and subscribe. Sign up for our newsletter. And join our Patreon. They are loading this prop, baby. Key operators previously briefed will remain at their post while the alarm is evaluated. In the event that personal safety is threatened, we will evacuate to the south-facing emergency exit, which leads directly out. Time to listen. One final reminder: we'll be arming the launch escape system momentarily. Need all personnel uh -huh. please stay in your seats from now through orbit. Uh, Kurt asked if they retract the crew on before prop load. I'm pretty sure they do because they need to be ready to fire these abort motors in any event. And you've heard Mike Taylor, the SpaceX launch director, give instructions to the team. There it goes. We've also just heard the call. The crew access arm retraction is underway. Great view from the camera inside the white room. Oh, visor's going to go down. The arm moving away from the Dragon Capsule. Oh, baby. One of the major events necessary to get down to T0. Look at that. The next one coming up will be arming of the escape system on the Dragon Oh, I'm glad capsule. they fixed the roof. The roof used to be really right, ugly on the crew the arm. Next plan for Falcon 9, T minus 35 minutes. We will be I am behind in the stream from you. I think I'm behind from a lot of people, so. Now currently Falcon 9's looking good. Dragon's looking good. There we go. Arm attraction starting for me. I'm, I'm, I have a feeling that the internet is struggling with this today. Yeah. There's a lot of random down, down things today and slow things. Uh, Ben, I'm on SpaceX feed. Yeah. The arm is retracting. Getting constant updates. We're monitoring weather data sensors around the launch site. Oh, those godforsaken landscapers are back with their leaf the blowers. What we're mostly looking at right now is how much rain we're going to get between now and liftoff, uh, whether it's just going to be mild precipitation that's within the uh, rules for loading propellant. Uh, that's what the expectation is. 
but we're going to Should I switch the to the SpaceX one? So fingers crossed, but right now coming up at uh, T minus 43 minutes, 18 seconds and counting. Everything but the weather's go and the weather is trending in the right direction. So we've got our fingers crossed here. This has to feel like a particular moment for Bob and Doug, right? I would expect, yeah. Like, now you are in a spaceship. There's no more arm. Nobody's getting to you. Thanks, John. I now that no, the only way out of this thing right now is there's two ways in, into space or into water. <laughs> well, they can put the arm back out. The crew arm attracted. That is the last major visual milestone before liftoff. And we should be all right. I switched to the SpaceX stream. That's better. Information that the launch escape system is armed. When that happens, all eight of the Super Draco throttle valves are opened, which means that those engines can ignite. I just want to say that everyone that's listening right now, thank you for hanging out today. Okay. Totally. This is a special day, so and uh, those those, uh, eight, obviously at uh, another time, open, this would be totally different, Super but Dracos we're doing this from our regular old studios, and it's a good time, and there's like a thousand other streams you could be hanging out on right now, so, and so things run this is rad. A little bit ahead of schedule right now. Fuel bleed is complete. I was watching the NASA spaceflight stream for a little bit while I was getting coffee and now stuff. We just saw the crew and uh, it was just a minute ago. Uh, we saw NASA Kerbal Space Academy, uh, uh, Scott Manley, and Declan from Flight Club talking about like trajectories so and like <laughs> Delta V, <laughs> and it was like or, excuse what me, a day. Arm the launch escape system that happens just before fueling begins, which we expect to happen in just a couple of minutes. We saw Bob and Doug suit up Thank you, a Kurt. little over three hours ago. We're getting some love in the Discord, too. We're getting some love in the Twitch stream. It's a love day. They were assisted by the Everyone's hearts are swelling right now. Ingress. <laughs> that happened a little Except for Rogozin. Rogozin is pissed. Just a minute ago, we saw the crew access arm retract. We just heard that the crew armed the launch I like they put out a statement that was like, we're, no, we're, minutes, we're really excited. We to, yeah. uh, they the did one of those. They have started so. propellant loading. Um, launch escape system oh. is verified armed. Oh, shit. <laughs> so we just heard that verification so that the launch escape system armed? is armed. We're switching yeah. to Jan 2. That feels pretty tight, too. Now there's eight Super Dracos, like, <laughs> cocked and ready to go underneath totally you. trained on you, yeah. <laughs> I want to know... Um, and we are going to send it over to Hawthorne uh, to take us through prop loading. Jesse? Go back to SpaceX headquarters for prop load. From the parachutes to the launch escape system, they have this, SpaceX uh, has a design... Hawthorne's got a panning camera yeah, feed right now. Right? Somebody got a dolly. Like, <laughs> really super uh they're really us tarting it up putting the lipstick on and say who was our mission manager for our in-flight aborts uh, well let's be real they haven't this year and done a lot of streams this year team. thanks for joining us nick relative to some I'm here at the launch and landing recovery center with the recovery team and our dragon ground operations team monitoring the launch awesome can you tell us more about the critical safety features? Their lighting is much better. They've really like turned this into a space, hey? Sure. Oh, yeah. So Dragon 2 was designed with long-term reuse and reliability in mind. So fundamentally, there are multiple layers of redundancy to any of the failure modes that, that we could conceive of, that NASA could conceive of. <coughs> uh, when we were so we, we passed T-45, which was the go for prop load. Propellants being lower in the rocket. Or multiple failures Do, is that, that's not the pole then, right? We're going to hear a pole still? Also has backup systems and are they going to show uh, us? SpaceX usually doesn't, but NASA does. This is going to be interesting. I'm sure you've heard a lot about does the pole? Today, the yeah. Escape system is primar the primary, I thought, they, I thought uh, that's what John was talking about on that. From the moment that the vehicle is... No, oh, Lars is right. There's no uh, dishes the clanking. Uh, There's no one at SpaceX right now that is taking a lunch break at this point. No. They're all wringing their hands staring at monitors right now. <laughs> Even if they went to the kitchen, the kitchen staff wouldn't be there to serve them because they're watching the monitors too. And you talked a lot about the launch escape system. How exactly is that activated? Is it autonomous? Is it manually activated? How much 
money do you think that it would take to get Jim Bridenstine to film a parody video of him doing American Astronauts, American Rockets, American Soil, like Bomber, doing developers, developers, developers. Like sweaty, sweaty blue shirt. I think he'd probably be up for it, to be honest. Maybe someday. Dragon and Falcon are looking at higher. He, I like how he's kind of come out in front of uh, of that statement. <laughs> Even in Tim's interview, it was like, I didn't get the chance to watch it yet. Tim said he's like, yeah, you're you're launching American astronauts, and and, and Jim was like, oh, you've heard that. Good. Okay, good. You've heard that. I'm glad. <laughs> glad that message got through. <laughs> That was really good. Uh, Lars, yeah, I'm keeping the stream quiet in the background just while there's some stuff hanging out, and we'll, we'll shut up when we need to. Wow, it sounds like there's a lot that goes into it. Yeah, they're mostly just Lars, explaining. Lars, you in particular are not going to learn anything from this SpaceX stream today. <laughs> no. <laughs> they are. Uh, Definitely. This is a this is a widen the net of space fan day. History, uh, it was a 100%. Which is good. I'm not. That's not a slight. I don't want to mean that as a slight. I, I, this is the job of today: is, is capture some more people that will make their way into our Twitch streams and our discords soon. Oh yes, uh, VR spies in Twitch brings up the time that uh, Bridenstine we called out John Kraus for mouthing American astronauts <laughs> along with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, he just he steps out in front of it now. He's just like, I've said it before. I'm gonna keep saying it. I don't care what you guys think. This is what we're doing. That is a guy who's on message. Important to recognize that all of that happens from command to actual separation of the vehicle in under half a second. Wow. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Thank you so much, Nick, for joining us and talking through those details with us. Enjoy the launch today. So we're gonna send it back to KSC with Lauren. Thank you, Jesse. We are about a minute and a half away from propellant load. At T minus 35 minutes, we should hear the call out on the nets that propellant load has started. So that's about a minute and 13 seconds away. Jake, do you still have that uh, timeline nearby? Yeah, I have it in front of me. You do? OK. Hey, Marie and Lauren, I am getting It's one of my many windows that I have open. It's uh, an exciting moment uh, when I was sitting in the vehicle when we retracted everything, when all the load, the prop oh, was They said the visors up. are closed. I, I missed it. Is Doug wearing the glasses? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get another shot. We'll get another shot. <laughs> is, are, is it transparent glass? Are these see-through visors? And I want to see the, the procurement uh, process that NASA did through Tesla to get that high-tech technology. <laughs> Transparent window. So well, you know, that's what those guys they're doing this non-transparent glass making really uh, with this, James Webb. So, <laughs> absolutely, and it was just now yeah, about big visors for Force users. <laughs> the little thing. For, yeah. Loading to start again. That's fueling of the rocket. Oh my God! Look at the clock. Kurt from nice. Twitch says he is wearing glasses still. Any second now. On okay. Minutes. Okay. So what are they? How are they affixed to his face? Well. I know you're still learning new things today, like glass. Um, but glasses actually come with these little arms in the back. They're like they're like crew access arms, but for your ears. And they just they just hook right in there, man. It's great. <laughs> Fuel is flowing, everybody. Name of the episode. So now that we are 34 minutes and 42 seconds away from the first launch of astronauts into orbit from American soil since 2011, we know that the launch escape system is armed. Uh, ben, we're, we might clip this and put it out as like a Patreon special or something. Oh, actually, just a few but who knows? Sure, yeah. We don't know. We Most likely that would be our post show. Those propellants, which are MMH, or maybe we'll do it all. I don't know. It depends if Jake starts crying. Fuel. And NTO or nitrogen. Depends if I can stay in frame when I'm jumping around in the room behind me. No, it's better for you. With my headphones flying off. How about your glasses? Do they stay on? Eight super eight super Draco engines of the launch escape system. So I have one right here, a little model. Um, oh, it doesn't come off the stand. <laughs> Don't break it, Lauren. All right, I, I know it's very nice. Uh, so uh, as you can see, we, the Dragon is actually broken up into four quads, and each quad has two. This is a sweet model. I need to buy one of those. For a total no kidding, of right? Eight of them. And as I mentioned, they are. Uh, uh, ben wants to know if I'm going to dig into the wine and try out the docking simulator after launch. Oxidizer. I think so. Um, I think <laughs> we should do that. I think we have to. Yeah. Yeah. 
space vehicles. I did play uh, it once or twice, like, and I was like, eh, Mercury got that. They no problem. A pointy escape tower on top, where there was a That's what I said, man. One take jig. Engine or series of rocket engines on top, and if they weren't used, those that that escape tower would have to jettison itself from the vehicle. If it was used, it would be. Is this Lauren bragging about how the rocket. the pusher launch well, escape is way is better? Different in that its escape system is actually integrated into the vehicle, and that's great for a couple of reasons. One, uh, one less thing you have to jettison on a nominal flight, um, and so they're pretty dormant. Just those throttle valves open unless they're used, and hopefully they never have to be. Wow. Um, yeah, everybody's yeah, talking about how, remember when load and go was like, the will they, won't they? they? Yeah. Uh, because if you they are. <laughs> prior to that, you couldn't. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's a little drag in there. Yeah. Um, I can see the glasses. I have visuals on the glasses. Absolutely. Thanks for walking us through that, Lauren. Again, the launch escape system is armed. Um, that protects Bob and Doug so that if something were to go wrong, they can shoot off of the pad away from the rocket and parachute to safety in the ocean. Um, that is such a crucial safety capability. And so now we want to go over to Hawthorne for an operational update with John. Yes. Everybody loves Marie, an operational update with John. We are counting down those final minutes. Everything is still looking good on the Falcon 9 and the Dragon vehicles for an on-time launch. But weather is trending the wrong way right Ooh. now. We're keeping our ears open in case we hear uh -oh. that uh, the weather is going to be no go for the rest of the count. Right now, we are counting down at weather trending the wrong way. Falcon 9 did begin propellant load at T minus 35 minutes, right on time. The propellants we use on Falcon 9 are a fuel, which is rocket grade kerosene, also called RP1, refined petroleum. We use an oxidizer, and that's the super chill liquid oxygen, or LOX as we call it. Those two mm. propellants with, you know, come together, but they don't like. They posted so a <coughs> radar picture in our chat. Um, looks yeah. good, but maybe it's something else. You might see that just maybe they got that first stage military radar. Later in the second stage ignition. Maybe it's just a non-radar thing. Flame is the T -tub but radar does clouds, right? Oxygen. Yeah, they could have sent another weather balloon up. Remember they send right the a lot of those? Could, could be winds, right? Now, currently in the fueling, RP-1 fuel is about 10% full on the first stage. That's the bottom two. There's a couple people in Twitch. I saw this in Tim's stream, and now that this is the first time they're seeing us, the and it's freaking them out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is what we look like. Yeah. First stage that we're loading with Very handsome. And RP-1 kerosene, that's the part that comes back to Earth. The second stage just above it, the white <sighs> cylinder. And then above that will be the just, just a couple of podcasters yeah. emerging from their <laughs> audio cocoons <laughs> to become butterflies. Kurt on Twitch is killing it today. He said, Doug's like that guy who has noise canceling headphones and is asleep on, a sleep mask on while people are still boarding a plane. Yeah. On the first stage. Second stage. I know the hands folded. Like, begin at T minus 16 amazing. and a half minutes if the weather cooperates. So locks loading will then continue on both the first and second stage. Until Apparently, you look nothing like what your voice sounds like. Helium loading is also underway. Into I have felt that before <laughs> about other people, not me personally. <laughs> I have felt that about myself. I have the wrong voice. This is not my voice. But I, I never know what that means. Like even yeah. though I, I have felt it. Should I have a higher pitched voice? Should I have a lower pitched voice? Now, should probably just be taller. I should be taller as well. <laughs> your voice is taller than you. You're not as tall as your voice. My voice sounds tall? This is weird. The sounds of the propellant load I gotta get some lifts or something. Back to acclimate the crew to what they're experiencing now. I'm stopping. I'm listening to some discussion on one of the back nets. How does the voice sound uh, tall? Uh, <laughs> That's what I want to know. Voice. Uh, we're just passing another weather gate right now. Your voice sounds more like you when your accent gets thicker. <laughs> Depends who I'm around. If I'm talking to you, <laughs> I might relax a little bit. If you, if you get pretty, if you get pretty Philly, then like it like it, it approaches more you. Uh, like is that what it is? I have like reporter what? voice. Yeah. You got you practice your non-regional diction too much. I almost just spilled coffee everywhere. I never spill drinks unless I'm streaming live on Twitch and then I spill drinks almost every time. But again the weather, that's the one that's looking bad and we're going to continue to listen. And as a reminder, today we have an instantaneous launch time. So at this point if we hear a hold for any reason, we're going to know one way or another pretty soon here. And target our backup launch opportunity on May 30th. John does not sound uh, confident in the weather. Are 
For Demo 2, Bob and Doug's flight to station will take about 19 hours, and their journey is fairly similar to the trip our cargo dragon makes back to the International Space Station, with two noticeable differences, docking and splashdown. As Somebody said, I've caught some U's on Rico. Oh, yeah. Well, she's from the area, so she knows what I'm talking about. Use <laughs> guys. That's the, that's the truth. Uh, we have somebody in the Twitch chat that has hung out in person with me before and can confirm if podcast Anthony and real life Anthony is different. On the right as they prepare at the Cape for liftoff. Once we hit T0 and a successful launch occurs, we will watch Falcon 9 and Dragon make their ascent until Falcon 9 and first and second stages separate and send Dragon on its way to the space station. And once it gets on orbit, mission operators will prepare Dragon for on-orbit operations, where Dragon will execute a series of burns that are going to gradually raise its orbit to align more closely with the International Space Station. And you're seeing some of that track in the animation on your screen right now. Oh, there's After some radar updates. Dragon SpaceX for weather update. Dragon. Oh, sounds like we're weather, update. weather update real quick for the crew. Go ahead, SpaceX. Yeah, we're currently just evaluating uh, one constraint, a constraint on the field mill rule, which looks at lightning energy dissipation. Um, we expect to have an update at about T minus 20, and uh, more information there on whether we would be able to continue into the prop load or or scrub at that time. Lightning. Okay, Jay, thanks for the update. We appreciate it. Copy. So I'll give you some more words in about six minutes. Six minutes, Jake. Okay, so it sounds like... Are you... How, how uh, up to date on the stream are you? Six minutes, if we're going to have enough time. And John SpaceX says T minus 2630. Okay, perfect. We're right in link. We have to have a, a certain amount of time. In this case, uh, with the field mills, about 15 minutes. So they have until about 16 minutes and 30 seconds to really make sure that we're going to have enough time for that to dissipate. So we're going to be listening for that weather update in just a couple of minutes, but it is going to be a pretty... Somebody in the Twitch chat likes the shore mic, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> and a very exciting countdown with six minutes to figure out if we are launching today. But t targeting they do have to get SCE to AUX pretty quickly. About. Next, will Dragon will make its approach... There's only one answer. ...dock with the space station... <laughs> This is a very different process from what we've seen. They're just seen so with chill. Look at them in there. Deliveries in the past, which used a you don't really do much, birthing. right? Like, now, birthing requires no. a spacecraft when you're the astronaut, especially now. Stop so a crew member can maneuver the like back in the day when they were doing like Apollo and stuff, that they, they were super insistent on having all the all the knobs and switches they could turn so they could feel like they were actually in control of a rocket traveling at Mach. These guys got one window apiece, baby. It's typically a faster process. These guys are just riding it. And leaving, but it does still require pinpoint accuracy to approach safely. <laughs> I got a, I got a text from my cousin who thinks that they should scrub it. <laughs> Maybe the first the rocket launch they watched. That I don't know. Use to <laughs> together on board station. It's a little bit slower process than docking, but the hatches are significantly larger than docking ports, which makes them perfect for bringing up large cargo items. Dragon will spend up to 120 days docked before preparing to return home. Following successful completion of Dragon's test objectives and cargo loading operations, one the thing they just mentioned the cabin, is that because they're docking with Dragon 2, they've got that the smaller port, undocking. right? Once the automated I was curious about complete, Dragon XL. Dragon like if they if they need to bring some big cargo to the ISS, bring back there the might be some port. room for it. Yeah. And then after Dragon departs the station, it's like that Axiom. Those Axiom modules, they're sometimes going to need some big equipment. The number, the EVA number suits as well. They don't fit through the, this the new hatch. It might look like we're playing the one we played originally in reverse, because that's kind of how it goes, but just a so. little bit quicker. Cygnus has uh, the big one left, though, right? Following the final departure yeah. maneuver will include things like trunk separation, closing that nose cone again, executing... Oh, that is just that, oh, uh, interesting. Once they're inside the atmosphere, deploying drogue and then main parachutes, and then finally splashing down off the Florida coast, at which team time oh, teams will move okay. in. Do you want to tell new suits go through the hatch? The Twitch fam, what he's saying? So, uh, one of our Discord people says that the gateway is all NDSS, which is the the docking port. Uh, so no birthing ports, uh, birthing hatches. I don't know what call it births. Um, the new suits are meant to go through the the hatch, so it's okay. National Space Station from U.S. soil in nine years. We're going to find out in less than four minutes if the weather looks good for that. 
um, and this will mark the beginning of a new era where more people will be able to fly to space than ever before. Um, in fact, we took a poll a little bit earlier to ask you if you had the opportunity to fly to space, would you go? And 86% of those of you watching answered that you would go to space. That's an incredible number. I think, you know, realizing that you don't have to be a military astronaut or a NASA astronaut to fly in space. You can be a regular civilian, you know, just a regular person going off to space on a SpaceX type rocket. So I think that's why the numbers are so high. Yeah, and, and we are really thrilled to, uh, to see all the folks uh, watching along online. I know we certainly <sighs> hope that, uh, that this is a go, but we're, again, we're going to hear a little bit of a weather update in less than three minutes now. And Leland, you know, I know they're waiting for a weather update, and they've come, you know, almost all the way down the count. What do you think Bob and Doug are thinking about right now? You know, we uh, on 120, SES 129, we were having some weather problems. Doug's probably thinking, we were getting close to if we go again on Saturday, does that mean I get to have steak and eggs again? <laughs> yeah, do they change up breakfast? If they were going, and you know, we always know that you know you can have any types of delays, fuel prop delays, all kinds of things that can happen. But we've trained over and over and over again for these types of scenarios, and so you know, we want to be safe. We want to be safe for our families and. Uh, We'll, you know, do this Somebody wants day. to know what we are drinking. I am currently drinking coffee. John, they missed this earlier. What is Jake currently drinking? I have nothing right now. Jake's drinking nothing. I also have it is this tons of water and a completely this, full you know, bottle of wine. Coming to, to Mother Earth, she's going to tell us if we can go or not today. Uh, right. Well, if it happens, I mean, look at it this way. Bob and Doug got one really great rehearsal in, right? <laughs> it's always best to practice and practice and practice, yes. So again, we're less than two minutes now from that weather update that uh, yeah. is going to go directly to. We're not providing any content right now. I'm sorry about that, but we're all just glued to the stream. Right oh, I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any expectations that we are doing content. Watching, we're just hanging out, man. Along, um, we are eagerly awaiting to hear um, whether the weather is going to be a showstopper today. Weather the weather. Listen, there's a lot of streams out there giving you content. There's not a lot just hanging out with you. That's what I say. <laughs> you really totally. At times, right? You see the blue skies peeking through and you think everything's fine, but you just don't know. That's Absolutely. why we have those launch weather officers. Absolutely. And I know, you know, we've talked about it before, but it's not just the weather in Florida that they're looking at. They've got to look at weather downrange. If they if they were to have an abort um, in flight and they needed to come down somewhere in the in the ocean. Breathing um, exercises. <laughs> consider what the weather Jake, like that's where we would have been there, standing right there. Right there. Whoever's camera that is. Situation like that. So there's that's so where, where Tim was last time for a fucking heavy. Yeah. Um, yep. He was right in front of it. This flight we were way off we were the like right <laughs> next to the <laughs> dude from the uh, <laughs> Wall, Wall Street <laughs> Journal and that film crew. And the, and the, uh, the uh, Space Florida guy was there, right? Because you do have oh, yeah, yeah. Criteria. What was that documentary they were you filming? Was that uh, First Man they were shooting for? And we're gonna listen in First Man was shooting over there, but that wasn't them. I don't think. Oh, maybe it was the Apollo 11 one. Maybe. What time was this update supposed to be? I forgot to look at what time it was when they said now. six minutes. <laughs> Now-ish. Now o'clock. Oxygen you see venting off the rocket. That's completely normal and expected. We're standing by for a weather update. Mm, I hate this part. Um, unless you can give us another uh, 10 minutes, I don't think we're going to get there uh, with any of the rules today. Uh, I mean, give you 10 minutes. I mean, <laughs> another 10 minutes past T0. Oh. 1640, 1645 local. Huh. I think we'll probably be clear on all the rules, but uh, not quite, not quite going to make it for this. Okay, we're going to check. There we go. Two minutes, and then I'll call it up at about uh, T minus 17 minutes. Okay. Yeah, we got. We, there's some of them are starting to count down, but we still have one above 2,000. So if that gets below. Uh, oh, drop the audio. We got two more deck. minutes until it's official, but. <clears throat> I sorry, yeah, I can't. They can't show that on the stream. The weather net going out, but we're still standing by for a final decision. If this scrubs, I have an idea of how to fix this in the future. <laughs> how to fix the launch? Yep. <laughs> Just want to review some some ideas with you. Okay.
I haven't been watching Twitter like I normally do on this. I've been keeping it up, so. And we're going to continue to listen in for an update. But in the meantime, we're going to go over to John Innsbrucker at SpaceX headquarters in California. John? And Dragon SpaceX on weather. Uh, we're still T not minus 18 minutes currently. and counting. Uh, LD is, we uh, are still, still red on weather. Uh, expect an update from LD. It sounds like it's really close. For yeah. Which is un unfortunate. We're going to check at okay, T minus 17 copy. minutes, possibly. We don't really expect that things will have improved. Uh, the weather officer was not optimistic that uh, the weather would clear up that rapidly. We did hear the launch director, Mike Ta Taylor, joke that, you know, if we uh, could move uh, 10 more minutes uh, past the T0, weather conditions may improve. But Mike was not able to do that. We have an instantaneous window today. I wonder, are they worried about the one that's off the coast or the ones that are coming towards the coast? I'm not sure. So we're not going to have the opportunity to launch, launch the clock's going to run out, stand by. We continue to violate Here. a couple different weather rules that we now do not expect to clear in time yeah. to allow for a launch today. we go ahead and end uh, today's launch attempt. Launch control. Go ahead and the launch auto sequence and proceed into the launch abort auto sequence. Launch board has started. Well, there we go. We are not flying. Launch board has started. Dragon is like SpaceX one of those phrases. You're like, I hope they push the right abort um, mechanism here. <laughs> I hope they put the one where we walk <laughs> off of this thing. Five dot one zero zero. It was a good effort by the teams, and we understand, and we'll uh, meet you there. Copy all. We've heard the call from the crew. They have been informed. Launch director so what we need is Mike Eric Taylor, Berger to uh, has uh, tell us for the some day. meteorology and we got about what Saturday, what Saturday is going to be like here. Uh, the Dragon yeah. team informed uh, Bob and Doug. Bummer. They said we gave it a good try, what they understand, and uh, we are here to try another day. So right now we did uh, officially hold the well, call. Apparently my like niece Alexa is watching, minutes, but she's going to be disappointed with the, the no the no fun launch that this is. <laughs> the loading of propellants, the cycling of valves, that is also stopped. We now proceed into what is a normal scrub sequence for us. We practice this every launch. So now we move into safely taking the propellants, the pressurization gases. Hey, but load and go works. Second stages. As things get into a well, the load part did. The load part. We need to unload and go. Part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess the load. <laughs> Just the load, not the go. <laughs> so right now, we got down to just inside 17 minutes. The hardware was working very well on both Dragon and spacecraft. We had the uh, fuel loading going on. We had liquid oxygen loading going on. Everything but the second stage. And the weather just needed a little bit more time to clear the conditions. Bummer. That's a bummer, man. We didn't have that time because we had an instantaneous window. And so with that, SpaceX launch director had to call upon the input from okay, weather. Okay, Dragon copies all about 30 the minutes. Thank you, buddy. Now, are they going to keep broadcasting the unloading? Right now, the team is I don't know. The, uh, Curious what they do with that. Operations on both Dragon uh, as well as Falcon 9 working with the range. No and the president right does now. not get to watch to a rocket launch. Everything looks good. Bye, Felicia. Uh, then, Bye, Felicia. Uh, <laughs> we had a good, uh, web Question is, does... Uh, end, so, uh, well, yeah, Pence was already there, so uh, I wonder a when a they got in. Great, uh, dry rehearsal. That Air Force One flyover was pretty one, epic. I should say. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Dress rehearsal, but sorry, we just couldn't get there, Dan. Yeah, thanks, John. I and obviously we can't control the weather. We can't oh, there is like a little plastic thing between these two broadcasters, huh? Oh, is there? Last thing. Transparent window. A, a transparent glass window. Yeah. It doesn't mean this we're done. We're gonna have another attempt. Um. Yeah. Apparently, Trump is not going back if it was um any other day but today. Because I think he was flying in, landing, and then flying out like immediately after. <laughs> yeah. Eastern time, so a little bit earlier in the day. Uh, it's going to look largely the same to everything that we saw today. 
with the crew waking up, going through suit up, making their way to the pad. So it's all going to be an so hour earlier on Saturday if they choose to go Saturday. Um, but still exciting. Um, safety is always first. So I feel like Saturday is going to be about the today, abort Saturday, zones. It will be there well, this weather actually on launch site didn't look any better. On Saturday. Yeah, the initial weather report still had us at about, I think, a 40%. Weather of, reports are pretty useless as far out. So <laughs> I mean, they they kind of nailed this one. Kind of rolling the dice. It is Florida in the spring and summer, so storms are always a possibility. Where can I get one of those jackets that Dan Hewitt is wearing? SpaceXShop.com. Do they sell those? That's a NASA jacket. There's no SpaceX on it, I don't think. Oh yeah, he's the NASA guy. It's Dan, right? It's got a flag and then the worm and then the meatball. So they'll have to wait until all that fuel comes off. They'll disarm the launch escape system, which still stays armed because they're still sitting on a, a partially loaded rocket. Maybe they are going to keep streaming this thing. To disarm that launch escape system, the crew arm will swing they probably the have to keep not streaming over yet. past the past the launch <laughs> date, launch time, right? Why? Well, I feel like oh, you're not paying attention. Tune in. Yeah. Yeah, and then like ten minutes from now, you're like, "Whoop, gonna watch this go up," and you just and just like a dead stream. You're like, "What's happening?" Yeah. I bet Brian Stein's pumped because that means he gets to hang out at Kennedy for another three days. <laughs> the museum's open? Can I get in? <laughs> in there, like, critiquing the exhibits. I think if you really... Expecting about a 40-minute offload time. 40-minute offload time, yeah. I don't think we should stick around for that. Save some bandwidth. Expecting about 40 minutes for all that fuel to come off. And again, once that fuel comes off, hmm. Bob and Doug will be able to That's a bummer. the launch escape system, and that crew access arm will swing back out. So I, I didn't their way back see this, but I wonder, um, so, <clears> there's a launch date for Crew 1, weather, that was the one thing in August, right? Yeah. So we started are they, today, and they said they wanted DM2 to come back a month before Crew 1 is ready to go. So... Is that does that date stick until, until like if this gets <laughs> off it doesn't matter what day this launches so right that launch date is is what it is coming up on Saturday and that I don't know so like their stay is being shortened three, three days yeah potentially Eastern time so a little bit hmm. early earlier in the day for Bob and Doug and for everybody else watching around the world they're still gonna have a 19 hour flight cool to so I guess we'll watch see if Saturday is gonna be the day or not a lot of the stuff that we saw today is gonna there's a chance that it's yeah. not there's a chance it is try again cross our fingers hope for a little bit weather better weather the next time hmm. and again this goes with every launch we do track everything all the way down hmm. to zero to make sure that everything is go making sure that the range is go weather is go well so thanks to everybody for coming hanging out with us on twitch um, and uh on discord we appreciate that of course there's I feel like we're like one of those airlines right now. We uh, we know you have your uh, choice of airlines to fly, and we uh, appreciate you flying with us today. We'll be back. We'll be back. Got to throw this Saturday. NASA worm shirt in the wash before then. <laughs> I'll cycle through some stuff. I got, I got a hoodie uh, version, too, so I can just I got a couple that. things, you know. Uh, <laughs> Some the good news is that stuff. some some more people will get the dragon worm shirt that they ordered and is very behind. So that's yes. that's good. Good point. All right. Well, that'll be it for us then, huh? Yeah. Bummer. All right. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Thank you, Twitch. We will uh, we'll be back. We'll we'll figure out when the schedule falls. We'll do something like this again, probably. Cause... Yeah. Yeah. We gotta work through all the content again now. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> All right. Bye. Thanks, guys.